Have you ever wondered how a three-way plumbing bypass works? Well, I'm going to explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water E-Store and Water Store in Midland. We simplify water filtration to fulfill your hope for a happy, healthy life. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. I'd encourage you to click the link, the uh, subscribe button, bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That'll take you right to our YouTube channel. Lots of great information there for you and your family. I'd also encourage you to watch this video right to the end. I'm going to have a link to my playlist on water softeners. Again, lots of great information there for you and your family. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. A three-way bypass is used to give you the option of temporarily bypassing a piece of equipment. So for example, years ago, water softeners were routinely installed with a three-way bypass, and that way, if there were certain uh, circumstances, like you were to fill a swimming pool, or you had a new lawn put in and you had to do a lot of lawn watering, then you could bypass that water softener temporarily to use untreated water and then put it back into service. So this is how they work. So this is the water line coming in. So you can see by the arrow here, the water flows through here. So it would flow down into the water softener or whatever other piece of equipment we want to temporarily bypass. And then it would continue on through here. This valve here is closed. You can see by the, the direction of the valve, this is closed. And that way the water flows down through the water softener, back out through the water softener. Now, if you wanted to bypass it, because again, you were filling a swimming pool or something like that, you could turn off this valve close this valve and open this valve. Now, as you can see, water flows down through here, across, and then up to continue on. So, um, nowadays, water softeners come with a bypass like this one here. And uh, so we will not install a water softener without a bypass. And uh, so to bypass it, it's quite simple. You just turn these two arrows to, to face each other. So this is for a Clack WS1 water softener, and that's super easy to use. So what are the drawbacks of using a three-way bypass? And this is one we see all the time. In fact, we probably get one service call a month with this. What happens is the water softener or whatever other piece of equipment is in service. And uh, for some reason, someone will be wandering by, might be a plumber or a well-meaning uh, person of some sort. And maybe someone makes the offhanded comment about, well, our water flow isn't all that great. And someone has a look and they say, huh. Look at this valve's uh, closed here. You should open that valve. And they flip the handle like that. And now what happens is water flows into the water softener, out of the water softener, but also flows across. So what happens is you're mixing untreated water with treated water, and then the performance of the water softener goes way down. What's even worse is if this is installed around an ultraviolet disinfection system, what happens again, you're mixing untreated water with treated water, you might think that your ultraviolet system is killing your bacteria, but if someone opens this bypass valve, it's not. What can you do about it if you already have a three-way bypass in installed? Well, you could either put a tag on here saying something like, do not open, do not touch this valve or something like that, or you can actually unscrew the nut on the end here and take the handle right off so that uh, some well-meaning person doesn't uh, flip that open for you. I should mention too that these three-way bypasses were installed years ago and they didn't have these nice ball valves with the handle that easily shows you whether the, the valve is open or closed. So if you have the circular kind of handle on your three-way bypass, you can't tell as easily at a glance. So again, those ones, you really got to be careful to label them or remove the handle. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. For some more information, you can go to our websites, either waterstoremidland.com or waterestore.ca in Canada or waterestore.com in the United States. That playlist I mentioned earlier about water softeners, click the, the link up here in the top right hand corner. Lots of great information there for you and your family. And that's it. Gary the Water Guy, thanks for watching.